The world is revolving at a fast rate and so does the technology. Nowadays, we have so many digital facilities available to us and DMR is one of them. Yes, in our today's video, we are going to share the possible details of DMR. Hello everyone, this is Oishi, Victimni from 3, Oscar Oscar Sierra and you are watching Oscar. But before I begin with our today's topic, Mark the date 23rd and 24th of September in your calendars because Oscar is going to hold Pan India Convention here in East India. It is the only convention here in East India in a decade. So stop wasting your time and register yourself at our official website www.biaham.in. Link is in the description. And if you are new in the channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated. So, let's get started. Victory 93, India Bravo Lima. Oh, name here is Norm, November Ocean Radio Mexico. Back to you. Over. Roger, Roger, Norman. Uh, Whiskey Lima 7, uh, Bravo Eco Romeo. So, the very first question is, what is DMR? DMR stands for Digital Mobile Radio. It is an international digital radio standard developed by the European Telecommunication Standards Institute ETSI and was first ratified in 2005. DMR was designed to allow for more bandwidth on a particular frequency or to simply put it to allow for more transmissions in a smaller space. Are there any special modes of operation of DMR? Yes, DMR has three tires of working. They are Tire 1, Tire 2 and Tire 3. Tire 1 is for non-licensed conventional. Tire 2 is for licensed conventional. Tire 3 is for trunking. Now you may ask what is trunking? In telecommunication, trunking is a technology for providing network access to multiple clients simultaneously by sharing a set of circuits, channels or frequency instead of providing individual channel and circuits to each and every client. Is DMR UHF or VHF? DMR radios are available both in UHF and VHF frequencies. But the spectrum you will choose will depend largely to a large extent on the nature of your aim. For the same power, VHF will transmit over longer distances and is therefore good for outdoor uses, whereas UHF will be good for indoor and inbuilt-up urban areas as it is better at penetrating metal and concrete. And if you still have confusion what to choose between UHF and VHF, you can check out our video for more details. Link is in the description. What is a DMR zone? A zone is just a grouping of individual channels. Some model radios may limit the number of channels per zone and the number of zones allowed. You can look up online for more options. What are the features of DMR? The features of DMR are as follows. 1. Improved voice quality. 2. Improved security. 3. Improved functionality such as location information. 4. Each DMR frequency uses a color code. 5. The DMR standard has specified the use of TDMA technology. TDMA stands for Time Division Multiple Access. It is a channel access method used for medium shared networks. It allows several users to use the same frequency by breaking the signal into different time slots. That's all we had to share about DMR. Remember, exploring new technology is fun and can provide you with a new experience. But they won't give you the feel as much as the radios does. So don't be a paper amateur, be a radio amateur. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, wear a mask, use sanitizer.